Yes, Baba. All right, all right, all right. We here. So, hmm, where do I want to start? All right. So, you ever noticed? Have you ever heard of like women getting flued out? You heard of that before? You ever seen a twenty-one-year-old woman on a on a forty-foot yacht that she never had to pay for to get on it, or or in a section? With bottles that she never even dreamt of putting in a dollar for. You ever seen that? Mike, did we ever experience that? Never. Yeah, we never experienced, but we have experienced people in our section never had putting in a dime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, these are the ones that, that walk up like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. So, and then it's funny, right? Um, How. You know, women experience that specifically in their twenties, right? Because they fly, they look good, this, that, and the third. They living it out. They taking trips, the whole nine yards, right? And then when they turn thirty, they want men, right, to to be ready for relationships and date, right? But what happens in our twenties? We got to grind it out. We don't have any money. We not on the yacht. We not buying sections. Not none of that. So then we finally get a couple coins and then we start living a life. They was living in their twenties and now men ain't shit all of a sudden. Right. Cause we don't want to settle down this, that, and the third yada, yada, yada. But we want to take trips. We want to fly ourselves out. We want to be on a yacht that maybe we purchase because we start to hit our stride when we like 35. So, do you guys think women are hypocritical in this facet? Yeah, I'll start. I, mean, I think I think as men, we get better with age. You know, um, exactly what you said. Our twenties, you know, we, I don't want to say broke, but we didn't have the means. You know, in our thirties, we finally have the means. We finally taking care of ourselves, and we have a choice. You know, and so, you know, I think you know by exercising that choice, it's a double standard. You know, women got to do that in their twenties and in their younger thirties. And now we're seeing men do it. Um, and the narrative is totally shifted into, you know, niggas ain't shit, men ain't shit. But what, what it comes down to is we have a choice and we're exercising that choice. Hmm. Um, I, I, I always laugh because, Hamp, you pick, <laughs> like, the worst caliber of women and make that your standard. And saying women, and Mike too, with the with the cup out like this, and with wanting to drink from VIP, like that's our truth. Well, well, that's well, our, well, well the problem that is, our is, truth. is that you all need to broaden. Well, you're older now, y'all. Y'all kind of washed up, but when y'all twenties oh, or mid period need to broaden your horizons and stop going after the ones that have their hand out that are trying to get into um, VIP for free and trying on these yachts and and whatever, and just like to lay on their back. Right. And it's not necessarily wise or even prudent to be well, y'all did. I can do it now in my thirties because in all honesty, in your thirties, you should be settling down. Right. And trying and wanting to get that good woman that you say that you want starting a family, you know, becoming established just because you saw women do it, chicken heads do it, um, doesn't mean that that's the way to go. So if that's your role model, a chicken head. I feel sorry for you. So um, well, I feel like I, what you would be, but well, I feel like what you would be doing with that though is, you know, you're moving the goalposts. You're talking about men should be settling down in their thirties, but if we let's just stick to the topic, like Hamp said, you know, lots of men in their twenties are grinding, even in their thirties, and. Lots of men when they are in their thirties. So 30s. are women. So are women grinding in their twenties and thirties and forties. When they finish, nobody cut you off. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> I meant what I said though. But I, I meant what I said though. Let's be very clear. Women in their twenties. All right. Can he too. finish? Yeah, we know. We know you're gonna play this that that game. We got you, Asia. I love you. Go ahead. Go ahead, B. But if a man has worked hard in his twenties and if in his thirties he wants to take that vacation or like Hamp said, be on that yacht. I don't see anything that's wrong with that. Um, I mean, I, I'm totally cool with that. I don't see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing uh, wrong. I agree on both sides, actually, a little bit. But I, I have 
a different perspective because I don't I know of the women y'all probably ran into in the club looking with their hand out expecting something from a man and all this other stuff or um, access to things that you all have paid for trying to get their attention and all this other stuff got that I was not part of that class of women so it's hard for me to kind of relate <laughs> in that sense because I was grinding in my 20s and if I ain't have it I just ain't have it um still was dating and everything met some great guys met some terrible guys but it was never i never called them ain't shit or something like that because of something they weren't providing to me it was definitely for other reasons but to when asia pointed out you should be settling down in your 30s let me just be clear on this on this podcast tonight are we looking at singlehood as something negative because i don't have anything for you i'm very positive about it so if you don't want to settle down in your 30s godspeed everybody going through their first round of divorces right now anyway mm -hmm. i'm glad i was not on the first set so i mean i just i'm very happy in my singlehood i i wouldn't mind leaving it for the right person that's a lot but i'm very happy in mine and this is the other thing i don't know if y'all saw it maybe not there was a post some dude posted and it got reshared i reshared it like you gonna have to come with something harder than you single and they ain't never gonna have a family girl because these women don't care. We don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here having a good time, taking my trips to my 30s, grinding out at work, got friends, got a friend when I need it. Like, baby, I don't, I don't care. I'm very positive about singlehood until you find your right person. Please don't waste your money because getting married to the wrong person or aligning with the wrong person is just gonna end up in a divorce or some kids you got to pay for for the rest of your life. Have a good time. Spend your money how you want to and get around better class of women. And women get around better class of men. That's it. What what is um <laughs> so you're saying you're intentionally single? I think you're intentionally single too. You're not. Like mm -hmm. I'm not out in these streets looking for a dude to fill a space cuz all mm -hmm. my girlfriends Mm -hmm. who did that in their 20s to fill a space and live out the life they wanted mm -hmm. are now s privately saying i do everything in my marriage this is not what i wanted i married him at a different time like i wish i had waited this isn't for me i'm lonely in my marriage because you picked a dude in your 20s because he was ready to settle down and get married and all this other stuff and have kids and now you realize you picked the wrong person so okay. Laura, what's your thought? Um, so I've definitely benefited from bottle section. Yep. Um <laughs> yep. I've never gotten food out, but I've definitely benefited from you know going to the club and having someone invite you to the section. Is it an expectation? No. But That's am I gonna local if I, huh? That's the local that? food out. The club. I, I, maybe it is. Oh, let, <laughs> let the but I've never um, looked down on a guy if he wasn't in a section. That was never my aim. Especially when I found out how much they really cost. I was like, ooh. Mm. It's not a requirement. But I have benefited from it. And I'm okay with saying that. Mm. I don't look down on a guy who doesn't feel the need to do that. But that's just my opinion. And I agree with Shannon. Sorry, I said your name wrong. Um, no one's out here sad. Well, he's oh, you got sad. your shit like, like you're talking like a robot. Aww. Okay, I'm going to call back in. Yeah, try to just go out and come back in real quick. Okay. Man, these fucking Dells and HPs y'all be buying, man. <laughs> the pits. The pits. All right, um, what you think, Eddie? So did you hear um, the lead up to the question? <clears throat> yeah, I heard the lies. Um, it's unfortunate, man, because there is, I would say what Shani was saying was about 20% of what reality is. Um, I can't speak to your individual uh, perspective and you know what you've been through as far as your experience, but when women say these things in regards to, oh, I married too young, or this wasn't expected, it is because 
you did not do your due diligence around what marriage actually is. It's about duty, right? So it's not necessarily yeah. you looking into having a great time and seeing what marriage looks like from an Instagram perspective. The shit is hard ass work. My parents just celebrated 37 years of marriage, right? My aunts and uncles, all I have in my life are examples of 30, 40, 50 year old marriages, right? I've seen these people go up and down, battle, you know, go through hardships, et cetera, right? That collective of people that I see married, they go to therapy together. They go to church together. They go to all these things together, right? So for our generation, whenever I hear fucking complaints, you didn't do your fucking research or you didn't thoroughly vet your partner, right? So now you were the lame ass nigga or sometimes the women is the lame ass nigga, right? So like you out here thinking that you're supposed to be in this enchanted forest of a marriage, it's like, no, this shit is work. Sometimes you're gonna be disgusted with your partner. Sometimes you're gonna love the shit out of them. And that's a part of the journey. So all them complaints and shit and how high the divorce rate is, it's cause people are fucking stupid going into the shit and thinking it's just gonna be butterflies and you know trips to Tulum and shit. Like, no, like the shit is hard work and don't throw a kid in there. It's just like, then the shit get real real. So I just think it, it's, it's very fucking aloof to think that that's the case and like supposed to move in a way in which marriage is supposed to be all these other things and then if you don't get it yeah if you don't get these things right in the boyfriend girlfriend stage when you're supposed to be asking these hard ass questions like don't get married son. and yeah and i was just saying that a lot of my friends will be honest and say they picked a dude because he fit into what they were trying to do at the time so to your point they didn't vet them and you're 10 years in, two kids in, and you feeling lonely and like you're with the wrong person. So, yeah, I agree with you. And that happens way too often. Mm-hmm. Like I can look at a couple our age right now. I'm just like, yo, y'all don't even fuck with each other. Mm-hmm. Like, y- y'all literally are just together for the sake of image or whatever else. Oh, we're in this group and our clique is this and everybody's together. So we should be together. And then you try to make that shit happen. It's just like, bro, y'all are fucking miserable. 